Another day, another dollar. Smoking something, feeding the rock wallers. No revolvers, niggas asking me where you from. Just laid up, watching Kobe with my four sons. More focus on what they could become. As I pull me a shot of Bacardi. What's going on, boxing fans? Jolene Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys. This is a prediction for the battle between Lamont Pierce and Amir Khan. Bout takes place December the 10th on HBO for the IBF and WBA Super um, Light Welterweight Championship. It's, why did I say Super? Well, it's a Super WBA belt, whatever. So, anyway, um, this is actually a really good good um, bout. Um, Lamont Peterson coming off of a victory on July 30th over Victor Kyle. And Amir Khan just recently unified against Zab Judah on July 23rd. So... Pretty much the the bout with, with um, Kyle for Pearson set him up for this bout against Khan. And I think that they were trying to set up the fight like in April, like last April, but Khan ended up fighting Paul McCloskey instead. So, so overall, overall, um, this is actually a really good bout, and this is a winnable fight for Lamont Pearson as well as, of course, Amir Khan. But this is a very winnable fight for Lamont Pearson. Lamont Pearson... Is has always done well against you know other contenders, but when you kind of have to step up that competition with him, he he doesn't necessarily win the fights. You know he had a draw with Victor Ortiz, and and then he went off and you know before that you know back in December of two thousand and nine he fought Timothy Bradley. When he fought Timothy Bradley, you know he was fighting a fight that he just shouldn't have been fighting. He was kind of just standing there and trading with Bradley. When when um. When every time I bring up a Peterson fight, you know, I think he should, that's a fight he should have fought on the outside. And if he was going to fight it inside, then he would probably, he should have just um, jabbed his way in. But he just walked, you know, walked inside and shelled up and, you know, was hit with, um, with a lot of punches. So, pretty much in this fight, Lamont Peterson has to go in and he has to establish the jab very early in this fight against Amir Khan. Um, he has to control the range effectively on the outside. And use a lot of movement. Um, use a lot of movement to kind of get out of the way. So that because Khan, Khan, his feet doesn't have to be set for him to throw. But, but the thing that, but the thing with Khan is sometimes he lunges in with his shots. And sometimes, you know, he, it's telegraphical what he's about to do. But he's so quick and he gets away with it. But I think that before Khan is able to get off, I think that Lamont Pearson has to throw his jet. He has, a, he has a very long reach. I think it's like a 74, 75 inch reach. So he has to stand on, you know, stand on the outside, you know, control the range effectively using the jab, use a lot of movement. Look for that straight right hand um, as, as um, Khan's kind of lunging forward, you know, with his, with his um, and most of the time when he's lunging forward and he's throwing his right hand, his back, his um, right foot um, is, is usually up. So, and also he needs, you know when he when he does that and hits him with the straight right, he does need to follow it up with another shot. You know, don't throw um, too many single shots in this fight. If he doesn't know what he's gonna do on the outside, just stand on the outside and just jab, jab, control the range, control the pace of the fight. Um, not time con so Khan doesn't get off, clinch con so Khan isn't able to get off with combinations. Um, use the use the jab to kind of drive Khan back into the ropes, make. You know, make Khan fight a lot off the back foot in the fight. And but the main objective in this fight is not letting Khan come forward. Not letting them, you know, establish anything, any type of offense in this fight. And if he does, you know, um and if he does establish any type of offense, you know, he has to fight I mean if he does, you know, it has to be in small spurts to where he's catching them and he's and Peterson's the one landing first and he's the one landing last in, in some exchanges. He doesn't want Khan to touch him, pretty much, because he has trouble against fighters that touch him. So he does have to stay on the outside in this fight. Stay on the outside. Um, use a lot of, you know, use a lot of calculated movement on the outside. Um, look, you know, jab from specific angles to where Khan doesn't see because, you know, Khan from time to time when he's about to throw, he squares up. So if Peterson can kind of step aside and, and throw that jab from an angle, it's more than likely going to land. It's going to land and and also follow it up with that with the straight right hand that he throws well. And if he's if he and if he decides to stand aside with, with Amir Khan, you know he has to he has to go to the body. He's Peterson is actually a decent body puncher. He is a decent body punch. He does throw short Chris hooks to the body. He doubles up his left hook very well. So he does 
does that well. He has there's a lot of adaptability to his style. He knows how to change his style, change his style up quite a bit. And but sometimes he gets overpowered. But overall, but overall he's a good fighter. I think that this could be a winnable fight for him. If he can keep Khan on the outside, if he can control the range in the fight, and when he goes to the body, you know, standing standing close, you know, kinda of lean on him and just you know, and just um go go to the body with short hooks to the body. And I think he can very well win this fight based on that. On the other hand, you have Amir Khan. Amir Khan, you know, very fast fighter, of course, fast fighter, very aggressive and explosive. Um, used a lot of lateral movement, you know, fast feet, fast hands, um, decent popping his punches. Um, those is pretty much, you know, fights with a lot of aggression. Usually he's the ring general in his fights. So in this fight against Lamont Peterson, he has to come out and he does it. And this is a fight where he has to come out and attack Lamont Peterson. And you know, it's it's most of the time, you know, he's he fights with a very at a very at a, at kind of a pace, and then he has to build up his rhythm from time to time. You know, he fires off three, four punch combinations, and I've noticed with Lamont Peterson, Lamont Peterson is the fighter that does, that does not like to be touched. He doesn't like it when you know he doesn't like when fighters are coming in and throwing combinations at him because you know he's kind of a fighter that that's fights at a very controlled pace himself. He fights at a very controlled, relaxed pace, and when you kind of make him fight at a faster pace, you know he's out of his comfort zone already. You know we saw it against Ortiz. We saw it in we saw it in certain moments against Victor Kyle, and Kyle was able to touch him, and and he was able to fire off a few combinations. He just was not comfortable. So and also with Timothy Bradley, when he was standing inside and trading with Bradley. You know, he he just wasn't comfortable when he was being hit. He wasn't comfortable with the combinations that were thrown at him. Amir Khan has to come in and throw combinations at him. He has to come forward. He has to, to kind of um, use a lot of lateral movement. He has to beat Lamont Pierce into the position and, and throw his punches, get back outside, and um, use his feet. Use his feet a whole lot in this fight. Um, look for um, punches right down the middle. Um, look to go look look to go to the body. Look to try to get Lamont Peterson on the ropes and have Lamont Peterson kind of you know try to go go um, move laterally. Lamont Peterson's a little a little slower, believe it or not. He's a little slower moving to his right side compared to his left side. He moves to his left side very um, kind of quick. He knows how to you know kind of change corners and change directions on his left side very quick and fire off his jab or or his right hand or his left hook. But when you move, when you make a move to his left side, he's not as fast. He's not as fast. He's not, you know, not as swift. You know, and sometimes, you know, he's out. He gets out of that position when you kind of pressure him and you use speed to pressure him. He he finds himself out of position, and when he find and when you find him out of position, you know, he has to throw the right hand. Look for the straight right hand right down the middle because it's going to be open, or um, or use you know, or use um combinations um. Try to catch him with his hands down because Peterson does put his hands down from time to time. So he does. This is a fight to where Khan has to come out and attack. Um, whether he's attacking in spurts, um, he has to evade the jab, and and maybe he could play the counter puncher in this fight because he does have the speed to do so. You know, you know, answer um, Peterson's single shots because Peterson does have a tendency to throw single shots. So answer the single shots with combinations, attack him. Um, press the action, be the ring general, be aggressive, and I think he can very well win this fight. So, who am I going to go with this? Go with in this fight? I'm going to go with Amir Khan in this fight. I think Amir Khan will win it by decision. Um, and we know, and we all know that Lamar Pearson does have the ability to adapt and adjust to the styles that are in front of him. And Amir Khan is going to come out, and I think he's going to attack him. I think it's just going to be a fight that to where he's going to attack him. And he's going to be able to touch him and and um, land you know specific shots. So I think that Amir Khan is going to win this fight by decision. Though, like I said before, this is a very winnable fight for Peterson. It can be winnable. So we'll see. But I'm going to go with Khan by decision. So anyway, peeps, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace. Full of stone. Got a pocket full of stone.